Let's say your pot has gotten past leather hard. Oh no, right? Because I haven't really talked about that. We want to, and you need to trim it, you want to finish it. When it, see how this has got all dried out. Not a best situation to be in. You've not set yourself up to be that successful. So how do we fix this? Or is there a way we could rewind the clock? Because we missed the leather hard stage. Well, this is never the best situation, but there's hope, right? And re-wetting it, what we're gonna do, does increase the chance of it cracking, but it's possible. Spray bottle is what you need and a piece of paper like this. So like this, so I have a piece of paper, right? And spray bottle. So this is gonna require us to back away a bunch. So first of all, what we're gonna do here is spray this guy down with a spray bottle. Now you could do this at the sink, but since I don't have cameras at the sink, we're just gonna do it this way. So get it so it is like dripping a little bit, right? All wet and happy. And then you can even do the inside if you want to get the inside sprayed a little bit. You do not leave, want to leave water parked on the inside, meaning you don't want like it have water just sitting in there in the inside like a puddle. So wait for it all to drip off. And then you get your piece of paper. Since this is a smaller piece, you can just get a smaller piece of paper. But the bigger piece of the more um, bigger piece, the bigger piece of paper. And then you want to spray this whole piece of paper down. Now you can also just do this at the sink, just run it under water, right? So you see how I got that side all wet and happy, and then I could even flip it over and get this other side all wet and happy. And we'll explain why this is important in a second. So that side's all wet and happy. Now, this thing has already dried out a bunch. You see that? And so what we need to do is maybe we can afford to spray it down one more time. Spray it down, spray it down, maybe a little bit on the inside. Woohoo! So now it's wet and now it's absorbing the water. Now, the problem is by spraying it down with water a lot is that there isn't really that much water on the surface. And it's like, oh, it gets sucked in right away. So it's not really doing much good, but the paper also can absorb water. And so this, this piece of paper is all soaking wet, right? And so what we're gonna do is add that soaking wet water to, I mean, I mean the soaking wet paper onto here and wrap it up however you want, right? There's stuff at the bottom, we just blah, blah, blah. And this stuff at the top, we shovel in because what's gonna happen with this is the paper soaking wet. Is it osmosis where things wanna even themselves out like dampness, wetness, like if you put a wet towel in the bag with a dry towel, both towels will end up damp, right? Same thing with this. We spray the outside, spray the outside of the pot, we wet the paper down, and then we wrap it. Now the pot is still sucking water out of the paper. That makes sense? And then we put this into a plastic bag, and then we wait like 20 or 30 minutes, and then we unwrap it, and we do it at least probably one more time. It will not get wet enough so that you could probably trim it or do something with it today. But by next class then, if you maybe wet it a couple times during class, wait 20 minutes, you will have something probably that you could work on next class or even the following class if you keep wetting it the following class as well. This will come back though eventually. And you, it's better for it to be leather hard, especially if you're gonna attach a handle. You cannot attach a handle to bone dry pieces. That makes sense to everybody. So remember, this has to go into a bag because if you don't put it in a bag, the water is evaporating off the paper is probably faster than it's getting sucked into the clay. That makes sense to everybody. So wrap it up in a bag. If you have multiple pieces, put them in, put all the pieces in one bag togetherness. That makes sense. And then hopefully this piece will be wet enough by next class to trim.